things crime, life, mystery, and fun. Are aliens real? Based on everything I've learned, I think that the government knows something. I don't know if aliens are real, but I think there's something out there that they, that they know. Listen to Talking to Death on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Odds are you won't die. Now it's time to give stuff away. Yeah. Hey, hey. Alan Cox. Time to give stuff away. Good God. I'm going to go see Third Eye Blind. They're going out on the headline in the Summer Gods Tour. 2024 with Yellow Card and Arizona. It's Friday, July 5th. You can make that a big, long holiday weekend. They're going to play out at Blossom. LiveNation.com's got the details. They just announced the show this past Monday morning. A couple of tickets here for you to see Third Eye Blind next summer. Call 10. Good luck. 216-578-1007 or 800-348-1007. We now return to something barely worth your time. Already in progress. The whole thing is f***ing pointless. The Alan Cox Show. On 100.7 WMMS. I tried to make me go to rehab. I said no, no, no. Yes, I've been black, but when I come back, no. I forget how long Amy Winehouse has been dead. In a minute. She died in 2011. Yeah. Did you ever get to see her live? No. Nope. I saw her at Lollapalooza that one day that she did it. Pretty good. Uh, they dropped a trailer. There's an Amy Winehouse biopic called Back to Black, which was the name of the album. British actress I'm not familiar with. Her name's Marissa Abella. I guess she had a role in Barbie. Uh, she's been on a show called Industry that I guess some people watch, but mostly like BBC shows. And she looks enough like her, you know. You can give her a mole and give her a jet black beehive hairdo and you can do the Amy Winehouse thing, but it looks interesting. But I always think that Amy Winehouse has only been dead for a couple of years, but there's no way to know what um, 2024 minus 11 is. Guess. Um, 2024 minus 11. So 2024 minus 10 would be not even minus 11. She's She died in 2011. Okay, so 2024 minus 2011. Oh, this just got so much harder. Okay, 2024 minus 2011. So t- carry the three. There's a 2024. So that would be like Remember that 130 said- years. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Has she been dead for a hundred? I'm sorry, 13 years. There you go. Well, it'll be 13 years this July. She died on July 23rd, 2011. And uh, she was still a young woman. Didn't live very long. She was 27 27 years old. Part of that 27 club, right? With uh, Kurt Cobain and a bunch of other people who died. Who's in that club? Janis Joplin? Jimmy Hendrix? Marilyn Jimmy Monroe. Hendrix. Marilyn Monro- Monroe. Jeremy Jorplin. Jeremy Jorplin. Who could forget J- him? Jamie Jorplin. Jamie so, Jorplin. <laughs> I went to go see Aquaman the other day. and You did? Yes, I did. Was this on a date? I can't imagine you wanting to go see Aquaman too. Absolutely, it was on a date. Okay. Um, so it was their suggestion. Their suggestion, and I went along for the ride. Yeah. Um, and there was a uh, preview for the Jimi Hendrix documentary. Yeah. I, or a uh, movie, biopic. The biopic, yeah. Oh, my gosh, I have to see it. Looks really good. It looks really good. I have yeah. to see Did it. Did they finally get the music licensed? Because they made one a few years ago with uh, Andre 3000, but they didn't have the music licensed. So it was I, like I, all, like, here's uh, Jimi Hendrix, and like he's got all these like moments that are iconic Jimi Hendrix moments, but it's not the music that he played, so it's right. weird. Um, I'm assuming yes, because they did every little thing is going to be all right. Yeah. So. Well, that's Bob Marley you're talking about. 
He doesn't even know who he's talking oh, about. Oh, damn it, I'm he's sorry. He's talking about the Bob, Bob Marley, Marley movie. Bob right. Bob Marley. Oh, God. I'm Take my black card. I'm out of it. Yeah. Bro, it's been taken. Yeah. All right. Bob Marley. It's been taken. It, it was One the, Love is the movie. One Love. Yeah. The, the Bob Marley documentary. I'm confusing my black people. My iconic biopic. dead black people. Yes. Um, yes, the Bob Marley biopic. It looks uh, really good. The guy that they got to play him, I mean, obviously, you can take an actor and put dreads on him. He's going to look like Bob Marley. He looked but like J. Cole. This guy, Kingsley Benadir, who is a British actor, he was the bad guy for people who watch Secret Invasion. First of all, my condolences, because it was terrible. But um, but he looks good. He's another guy who who was one of the Kens in Barbie. Everybody was in Barbie this summer. Okay, I, rem- I recognize him from Barbie, yeah. Yeah. But um, and Lashana Lynch plays uh, Bob Marley's wife. She's one of the Marvels. And um, James Gandolfini's kid is in this Bob Marley movie. Does he play Tony Soprano? He was <laughs> a young Tony Soprano. A young, when a young Tony Soprano went to Jamaica and met Bob Marley. Yeah. Hey, every little thing don't be all right. That yeah, was a pound cake was really impression. confusing me there for a second because I'm like, wait a second, I've seen the trailer you're yeah, talking no. about, but that's not Bob, that's not Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. It's Jamie Henders. Jamie mm-hmm. Henders, that's right. So the Amy Winehouse biopic is called uh, Back to Black, and they dropped a trailer today, and that'll be out, I think, this summer. You know, we haven't done a long time. Speaking of which, we used to play a game called Winery or Rehab. Oh, you want to play winery or rehab? Let's do it's a it. Dumb game. We used Is to it play. a winery or a rehab? I don't know, no, no. I mean, the conceit was pretty simple. Rehabs and wineries all have like, you know, very posh-sounding names, and so I'll tell you what. Sometimes it can be confusing to determine what's what. So I'll give you the name of an establishment, and you'll tell me if it is a rehab facility or a winery. Simple enough? Mm-hmm. Works for me. Who wants to go first? Bill, okay. you can go first. Okay. Ambrosia. Is that a wine- winery. Is I'm sorry? Winery. Winery. No, I'm sorry. That is a oh, rehab crap. facility in Florida. Yeah. Off to a bad start. Uh, Mary Lynn? Yes. Sea breeze. Sea breeze is that's actually a like a wine cooler. So I'm gonna go with winery. Mm-hmm. Okay, cake you wanna play? Sure. All right. Dove's nest. Rehab. Well, Bill, you're behind here if you I want know, to try I to know, make it up. All right. Not to put too fine a point on Not it. Not a lush like these two. <laughs> I don't know. Willowbrook. Is that a rehab or a winery? I'm going to go rehab. Is a... Back on the board. Yeah, good job. Back on the board. Uh, I'll give you a couple more here. Peaceful Bend. Ooh, Peaceful Bend is... That is a winery. Yeah, I thought you were going to say rehab facility. I was close. Yeah, yeah, you were. I could tell. Pound cake next? Mm-hmm. Uh, summer house. Winery. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a rehab yeah. facility. I mean, do you get it, though, Bill? It's so confusing. Right. Because <laughs> oh, they sound like it could be either one. They sound so similar. All right, one or two more. Who's next? That's my turn. Eagle, pa- Eagle, <laughs> <laughs> Eagle Pass. Uh, now we go winery. That is a winery. Yeah, good job. Yeah. All right. Is that enough, or do we? we might as well make it even. Make yeah. it even. All well, right. Yeah, because Bill and I are tied two and two. Oh, so okay. Mary gets his right. She went. Four circles. Ooh, four circles is a. That's a tough one. Because each circle could rep- represent some type of, like, recovery. <laughs> yes, that's right. You know, yeah. or they could be crop circles. Or um, grapes. Or grapes. Yeah. I'm going to go with winery. Uh, no! Oh! Still tied. Oh, now 
Pound cake guess it's, it's a three-way tie. And three-way it's, tie. That way everybody wins. Uh-huh. <laughs> what do you think about that? I love a three-way. Yeah! Shut up. You see what he did? <sighs> um, all right. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Just... Let's see here. White rose. I gotta be white. <laughs> uh, <laughs> winery. Oh, no. Yeah. Now we're all tied. Yep, White Rose is a winery in Missouri. Billy, you next? Yeah. Tiebreaker. New Hope. Uh, I'm going to go rehab. <gasps> oh, Bill's out. Now Cody and I are two to two. Sorry, that's in New Jersey. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, you, I mean, if you want to, you could give us the same question if Mary gets it wrong. But um. No, because then you would automatically win, dummy. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to listen to you. <laughs> Pine <laughs> Heights. Pine Heights is a rehab. Oh, Cody, pressure's on. Mm. Touchstone Ranch. Ooh. Touchstone Pictures. Uh, rehab. No. Oh, oh, is All it right. back and it's forth? Back it's and neck, to, neck right. and neck. Okay. I'm out. Serendipity. Winery. Boy, I'll tell you what, hard to trip you guys up. Branches. Rehab. Hey! Does that mean Mary wins? Yes. Oh, look at that. Mary wins winery or rehab. There you go. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you for playing. Fun as always. It's a little dumb detour there. From all of us here at Winery or Rehab, we bid you so long. Is it a winery or a rehab? I don't know, no, no. All right, I got $1,000 to give to you here, courtesy of the Buzzard Bookie. You get uh, these keywords nine times a day is how many you'll get. We used to do more. Now you get them nine, nine times a day. So this one's still got 1000 bucks. I hope you win. Good luck. This is your chance to bet with the Buzzard Bookie and win $1,000 now. Enter this nationwide keyword at WMMS.com. Bonus. That's bonus. Enter it now at WMMS.com. Speaking of rehab, uh, there was a guy. You ever heard the phrase booty dope? No. When you're hiding stuff in your ass. And you're uh, that you're transporting. They pulled a dude over, and he told the cops that he had some booty dope. This was in Florida, of course, the Ohio of the South. Uh, this uh, and the the points um, of the story are amazing. The guy got pulled over because he was involved in a hit and run crash. He's in a car. The guy he hit was a paraplegic on a hand pedal bike. All right? A guy who was paralyzed because he had been um, in a car crash that left him paralyzed from the chest down. So this guy's out there just trying to live his life. He's finally got himself back to the point where he can get out there on a bike again. He's on a hand pedal bike because obviously his legs don't work. So it's like a custom situation. This dude hits him. And it takes off. I believe would they call that a hit skip rehab here in the huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it is guy was on winery. his way to a winery, yeah. but he wasn't drunk. Uh, they asked him if he had anything, and of course he had um, he had meth with him, which, as our audience will tell you, is awful. The, just the worst. Hey man, meth ain't that bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, so he said that he had some booty dope when he. Is there anything on you, dude? Use your words. Here's the thing, too. You didn't give it a, a quick no, so that means you have something. You just don't want to say it. We're going to find it, so you just help us out and just tell, where it's, just tell us where it's at. Is it in or between the cheeks? Between the cheeks. Okay. What kind of underwear are you wearing? So you'd be able to kind of, like, jiggle it out down your life course? Can you pick your butt with your hand? Hey, if we take him to jail, he admitted to having it. We'll let them know that he's got booty dope. Will that be fine? Ah, uh, booty dope. Well, that sounds like it wasn't up. It was just between up. It was in, like between the cheeks. You can clinch real well. That's a good sign for prison. Yeah, but if you're wearing pants, you don't really have to like physically clench, right? I mean, your your cheeks are going to be clapped together. <laughs> 
But how gross. You, you know, you're a cop. You're out there. You're wearing gloves anyway because God knows what you're going to be touching. Then brown line, man. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. Uh, the guy, um, the guy in the bike. I'm sorry, I, I misspoke, by the way. That guy didn't become paralyzed because of a car crash. That would have been ironic, I guess. Um, he was a deputy, and he got a staph infection that paralyzed him. Ooh. Imagine that. So this dude in a car hits him, and he's got meth on him, whatever. And, but booty dope, that was a new one to me. It makes sense. It's pretty literal. I just never heard it before. Who sings that song, Cody? That booty work, booty work, That's booty, T-Pain, booty, booty work. T Pain and E Forty. I love that song. The War Pigs E-40. guy. Yeah. E Forty. Wow. Wasn't that an Eminem? Uh, no. You're adjacent. D- uh, who was? What was? D Twelve. D Twelve. Thank you. What was E Forty's big song? You and a monkey. Yeah. Girl, I was shaking, sticking, sinking, making, trying to get to you. You guys aren't gonna believe this, but you singing it is not. <laughs> Made me recognize right, it <laughs> at all. It's not for you. <laughs> What's the song called? You and Dat. Oh, you and Dat. It goes. You yeah. and that booty. Oh yeah, I remember this. This was in the club back when Dude, I was doing. Club music is just not as pretty good as sure I had this as a ringtone. Everyone did. But he, didn't he do "Snap Your Fingers" with Lil John too? No. Oh yeah, I know this. And then E forty or uh, what's his name comes in and he goes ooh. <laughs> E40 is Snap Your Fingers. That monkey. I didn't know E40 was Snap Your Fingers. Uh, no. You can I thought do it, was it all by well yourself. Earl Stevens, better known as E40. From so Vallejo, California. Booty work. Booty work. But we could change the words up. Booty dope, booty dope, booty, booty, booty <laughs> dope. <laughs> you got meth in that booty. <laughs> Clench in that booty. Yeah. All right, well, let's think about it. I'd never heard that before, and now we... Hey, man, meth ain't that bad. And now we all know. A little uh, thing you can get out there next time Pound Cake's out in them streets. You could be asking somebody if they got booty dope. Mm, no. Is E-40 still alive? Yeah. Oh, okay, I don't know. He just hasn't done anything in, like, 20 years. All right. Maybe more. Because he was sitting here talking about Jesus Christ. No. Is that what happened? Jesus he went- Christ got dreads, so shake him. <laughs> I ain't got none, but I'm planning on growing some. That was his famous line, and I don't know what he's done since then. <laughs> Alan, the recovering alcoholic wins winery or rehab. This feels fixed. Not fixed. But who would know better? Yeah, right. Who life better? Experiences. Life experience. Hard earned life experience. Amen. Amen. Okay. Booty dope is part of ICP. Oh, I don't know about that. Is that true? Shaggy two dope. Oh, right. (laughs) Shaggy two booty dope. (laughs) Right. Well, Mary's a big ICP fan. She loves that. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, okay, I've got to take a break here. If you want to send me a text, 35192, AllenCoxShow.com for everything else, and we'll be back. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7.